every time it looks like Sasha Banks is going to be able to battle. If it looks like she's going to be able to make a comeback. It looks like Sasha Banks is going to own it and be the legit boss. Charlotte and Dana Brooke have the answer to the equation. They have the number of Sasha Banks. Is Sasha Banks fighting a losing battle against Dana Brooke and Charlotte? It would definitely seem like that. And whomever Sasha Banks picks as her partner, she better hope that that's the best component. Because the beating, the annihilation that she received tonight was definitely not something that she will be able to adjust to. Something that she will... Sooner or later, Sasha Banks won't be able to battle back. She won't be able to get up. She won't be able to answer the bell. So tonight, Sasha Banks took a beating. A two-on-one assault. And you got to wonder, whoever this partner that Sasha Banks has in mind, why didn't someone else come to the aid? Why didn't someone else come to help her? Why didn't someone else have her back? There's a lot of questions. There's more questions than this than meets the eye, ladies and gentlemen. Your comments and your opinions on the double-team assault from Charlotte and Dana Brooke on Sasha Banks. How much more of this can she take? And what is going to happen? What is going to be the ramifications? What is going to be the backlash for this at WWE Battleground? Because we are literally in the middle of in the midst of a battleground. We got the draft. We got Mick Foley and Daniel Bryan. We got all these different components. And Sasha Banks, the one looking up at the lights again. Your comments, your opinion, share, subscribe. More to come. Live commentary, live reaction. I cannot believe what we've witnessed tonight on Raw with the events with Sasha Banks getting taken out again. How will she answer? How will she respond?